Hey guys, I'm Matt. Welcome to Speed Shooter, and today we're going to look at creating a checkbox and doing something with our checkbox based on the UI that we've created. And I do have another tutorial showing you how to mute audio by using this type of thing, but I'll show you the basic UI, being able to do a little action. And this tutorial doesn't require any scripting, but requires to use Unity events to be able to make something visible, non-visible or set active and otherwise. I would love it if everybody could give a like to this video because it would really, really help the videos out. So thank you so, so much. In my example, I already have a canvas here. You can right click here, go UI and select canvas at the bottom. But once we've got a canvas and something on it, we can right click, go UI and choose toggle. The toggle here is really, really small. But what we can do is we can just select the bounding area and just scale that up here and then what we'll do is we'll go inside the toggle we'll select the background and we'll zoom in a little bit and we'll just scale it up with our object and we'll also take the check mark and we'll scale that to the edge of our box too we can get rid of our basic label and I'm just going to copy my text mesh pro label that I already have here and just put it next to my box in line here and I'm just going to call this my checkbox as just an example of what we could use it for so you can see it down here that we've got everything going on. We've got our box. We can actually untick our toggle and we've got a little bit of text next to it. You could parent that text to the uh, toggle just like so. And then if we moved one, we move them both around and we can put them wherever we want. I just want to say that you can get this project, all the other projects and scripts from all the rest of my tutorials on my Patreon if you want to support me today. So thank you so much. One thing is when we select our toggle, you can see that there's a unity event of our on value change, whether it's on or it's off. Now, what we can do is we can add a little plus, and for this instance, where we can choose to hide or unhide another object, we can just add that checkbox title text, which is this text here. When I untick it and tick it, it's that text there. And we can go to the function, you can select game object, and you can select the dynamic Boolean that when we set something, we can set whether it's active or not. So at the start it would be active, but then when we untick it, it will be set active. So we've turned it off. But similarly with the other tutorial, which I'll link in the description about muting audio, this type of on click to value change to change volumes, change different things, anything that you want. But this is an example of how to create it and then how to just control it simply with the Unity event. So I hope this helped everybody out. Be sure to check out my great assets on the Unity store. Come and join me on Discord if you want to chat. Check out all my great stuff on Patreon, which has access to all these scripts, projects, and so, so much more, including premium content models and loads of stuff from there. But thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.